Hey guys, Happy Go Logger here, back with another maths question of the day. Just a couple more of the IGCT 2020 Specimen Paper 2 extended questions to do. This one is using a calculator. Um, it's only one mark, but there's a lot that we can discuss through here without using the calculator as well. So here we go. It goes as follows. Use a calculator to find the decimal value of the square root of 29 take away 3 multiplied by 32 to the power of 0 0.4 all over 3. Press pause, have a go at the question, and I'll be back with the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, back with the work solutions then. Calculators at the ready, we are allowed to use them. And the answer will be a decimal, so we can't leave it in terms of pi or as a fraction or anything like that. It's only worth one mark. So if you have one of those calculators that has the key that looks like that, then you could literally type everything you see into those and just press equals. And that should give you the answer. But there's a couple of easy things, easy tweaks we can do here to make sure we get the right answer. Uh, other fraction buttons, you might find an A, B, C, sometimes written like that. And you also need to be aware of the power buttons. So they're normally the ones that go like that, a Y to an X, or an X to a Y, sometimes like a up arrow, something like that. So they're the keys we're looking for. Obviously, you know where the square root is and the operation keys. Now, considering the rules of bid mass or bod mass, depending on how you say it, the first thing we should really be doing, if we can't do it all in one movement, is the 32 to the power of 0 0.4 first. That's the same as saying 32 to the power of 2 fifths and any fraction to, sorry, any base to a fractional power is the same as saying the nth root of a to the power of m. So what we really want here is we want the fifth root of 32 which is 2, because 2 to the power of 5 is 32, and then square it. That would be 4. So actually, we can go straight onto the next piece, which is the square root of 29, take away 3, multiplied by what we just said, 4, and all that needs to be over 3 now. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, so the next thing we need to do is the square root of 29, take away 12, which is 17. And divide that by three. That, unfortunately, is where you probably need to get the calculator out. Anyway, so let's jump on that. Okay, so we've got our calculator. And we need to do the square root of 17. That's the square root of 17, if you can see that. 4.123 dot, 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 dot. That's the square root of 17. And we just need to divide that by three. Press equals, and your answer is there. 1.374 dot dot dot. Now in these exam papers, it asks you to find, or if you have an answer as a decimal, to give it to three significant figures. So the first three significant figures are the one, the three, and the seven. So 1.37, we don't need to round up. And the answer then to three significant figures is 1.37. It's a nice little one marker, just give you some calculator practice really. I hope you enjoyed that and you got something from it. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and today we've been using a calculator to find the decimal value of these big fat massive sums. Thanks for watching, guys. Good for you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.